Hi there, this is Wendy Meads from Smiles and Swirls, and I'm going to show you how to draw some roses that are inspired by these cupcakes that I made recently in a class. I'm going to start with a permanent marker. Uh, you can use a black Sharpie or anything that you have around that's permanent. And you start with a circle. And then, as you can see, I'm just starting in the center of a petal and then doing a little curve. So you start, in the, start at the other petal, then you start doing a curve around. And you just keep doing that around and around and around. So now I'm going to start another one in another area. So you start with a circle and do one petal and then you just keep starting from sort of the center or just a little far over from one of the petals and you just keep going round and round like that. Super easy. And then I'm going to sort of spread these out so I have a nice composition. So now I'm going to add other things to my picture, like some swirls, just for interest. I'm doing different sizes and shapes. And then I'm going to add some little daisy flowers in the center. And the daisy flowers I'm just doing with a circle and then some petals around and around just to make it look more interesting. Then I'm adding some other different designs. So this one's just a dot in the center and then little lines around it to make other types of flowers. You add in the things that you like, different designs and fun things. So now I'm going to use watercolors and a watercolor um, brush that I have with the water inside already. And I'm using a Jean Davenport set. And I'm starting just with a whole layer of a nice bright pink. And then another flower that's bright pink. I'm going to try and vary different colors in the flowers. So I'm starting with just sort of a solid layer of the watercolor. And then I'm going to take some of the paint that isn't as watery and I'm adding some dark shading. So the dark shading, you can start in the center and then on the inside of, if you can picture all of those being petals, it would be sort of the inside of each of those. But you don't have to do this. This is just to give it a little bit more texture, a little bit more interest to vary the coloring in the flower.
So now I'm gonna use a nice bright purple for the other flower. I'm gonna use the same technique where I fill the whole flower first and then I add a little bit of darker um, inside each of the petals. You can see on the other flowers how it makes them kind of stand out a little bit more. And I'm using sort of drier paint for that. For those highlights, it's not as wet. And I'm just gonna add purple to some of the other areas. So I have a variety of different colors in balance. And I'm going to add some blue to the swirls. Now I just did these all a solid color, but you can um, add different colors if you want. You could drop sort of a different color in the center if you want. I just want to make each thing look slightly different so it's more interesting. And then I'm going to do yellow for the daisies. You have to be a little careful that they don't bleed into the other colors. So, um, I mean, sometimes the bleeding looks nice, but you can also, you know, wait till the other flowers are dry before you do that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the fun. Bye.